Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Guys, okay, admittedly, I did warn us about this. This is my part two of my little Christmas unboxing, AKA what I got for Christmas. This is my second bag. Oh my God, terrible, I know, I know. I ordered this actually before Christmas, like a week before Christmas. It took a very long time. You know, the packages, I just got it yesterday. So I'm very, 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 very excited to film this. But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put up videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I have been talking about wanting this bag for a little while, of course inspired by just, you know, my favorite person on here, Mary's Room. We all know how much I love her. Mary, I love you so much. For a while, I was like, oh, I don't need this. I have my The Row doctor bag in brown. And then I got my Celine 2018, so the collection after this one, collection eyelet bag in white. And I've already done like at least three or four videos on it. The quality Miss Phoebe Philo outdid herself on that piece. And all of a sudden I got that bag and I said, no, you know what? Screw my like curated rules. Anyway, I tried talking myself out of it and then I became completely obsessed. Without further ado, let me introduce to you my newest from the 2017 Celine collection by Phoebe Philo. My newest clasp bag, my eyelet bag is from 2018. So it's kind of cool to have it's not her last collection, but it's the last two years of her collections for Celine. And we know from her newest drop, her most recent drop, drop number two, she did kind of a version of this with like really cool little puffy parts. I think the bag is like a little bit slimmer in her newest collection, but essentially it's very, very similar. So this is the OG and like, oh my gosh. Are we even ready? Because there's a story. There's an entire story here. First of all, we know me. I was obsessing over getting a brown one. I was gonna allow myself that, even though my <laughs> The Row Doctor bag is brown, as I'm again repeating myself. But I was like, this bag might be too good. It's fine. And then I found this and I was like, okay, this is a gorgeous color. It was an insane price. It was just above $1,000. I think it started out maybe at like 1,500. And as I'd said in a few other videos, like I'd seen class bags for like around 1,500, maybe even 1,200, but they were kind of in like quirky colors. There was a two-toned one with red and white that I was like, that's for sure not me. There was like a butter yellow for 1,500 that I think is still available on like a bunch of different sites. And then there was like a pale gray. And I was like, mm, none of those colors exactly spoke to me. And all the browns are like 2,500 to 4,000. Like they're all very much so up there. Those are the reds, the burgundies and the greens. And this one was in horrible condition. Is, you know, she's not in the best condition. I've, I'm gonna tell, you know, the story of how I got her looking like this. But essentially this, whoever had this loved this bag. There is some like, I can't tell exactly what this is, but around the perimeter, there's some water damage. And then on the strap is the worst. I'm just, I'm not going to lie to you. It came to me, I should have seen it. Why didn't I take a picture of it? How it came to me. I was just like, so immediately wanted to try to fix it. Literally when I got it out of the box, the strap came completely flat down to the bag. That was wild. And I was like, uh oh, there may not be any hope. A long story short, I tried so hard to reshape it and it's very, very worn. It looks like there's even a few areas where the whole kind of lining or paint or coating is coming off. And then there's all these like ridged marks. I don't know if you guys can see this exactly. It looks, it looks worse in person. I'm not going to lie. And again, the strap came like literally S-shaped. It looked horrible. And so I've tried really, really hard to work out all of these little kinks. And because the reason why I felt confident in getting this is because I felt, and now I've been able to test out and wear my eyelet bag from Celine. 
I was like, the quality on this might be worthy of being reshaped, of being reworked. Of course, I could take it to a leather spa, but I was like, let me just try. And I was, I, I was not wrong. Like, I totally, she did not fail me. The quality is so amazing. So the leather is really, really thick, really hardy. And because you know how much I love, like, natural, really high quality leather, I knew that I could try to work on it. And it's, it's not that bad. Like, trust me, even, yes, even last night when I tried, I've been hanging this on, <laughs> on a doorknob and I've stuffed it. I'll, I'll explain the whole inside to you. I'm so hard to make it like domed again. This little part still needs a little bit of work with, this was the worst. But I think, you know, if, in the meantime, before I take it to a leather spa, I don't know. I think, I think she's looking much, much better. Again, I don't know why I didn't take a video. I literally was just so anxious to see if I could get it back up to par and I don't know I'm just I'm very very happy so then the in like the whole body of the bag whatever this stuff is on the front maybe it would be amazing if someone could kind of fix one day at a leather spa and even the little logo is quite faded I think the C is pretty much the one with no gold leafing on it anymore ironically the back is in per like perfect condition. Someone clearly like, I don't know what happened, but someone, someone, you know, like ha had a really uh, either good or bad time. And you know, the whole front got scratched a little bit. I, again, I can't tell if this is scratching. I'll show it with my phone if I can't quite capture it on video, but it's either scratching or water damage. I don't know which one. The crazy thing is that the bag came like a pancake. It came literally all flat to itself. And I had to like work the inside somebody. This is why I always say, and I said the same thing with my vintage lady Dior bag, like wearing your pieces is the best thing you can do for your bag. Obviously be careful, don't wear them in the rain. Like I'm not telling you to go out in a snowstorm with your luxury items, but wearing them is the best thing you could do. They need air, you know, it's natural leather. They need to breathe, they need sunlight. <laughs> Don't keep them in a moist place. And literally whoever had this prop, like didn't even just have this up on a shelf, was trying to sell this, had this like literally in a box. And I was a little bit annoyed. I got this from Vestier, which I'll get to the amazing parts about this soon. I don't know why I'm starting out with the negatives. Also like kept it in the same box it was in, or at least in the same formation in the dust bag. They could have at least given it a little bit more room because literally the box it came in was this big. So the handle was smushed completely flat to the bag it was wild and the whole bag was completely flat it was like literally only this wide so I had to work on the inside it kind of seemed like all of these little ridge parts were stuck together not sticky stuck but like hadn't been worn stuck like whatever the inside lining is was literally like no we haven't been working for years and years and years so you gotta work on us to get us alive again so long story short i think i think i kind of got it to work i've been putting dust bags in both sections and again this is like literally i got this less than 24 hours ago so this is another dust bag that i had and then the original celine dust bag and then look you can kind of see now like the bag came flat like that and i was like oh no and now oh, you guys even after just like however many 19 hours of me stuffing it it feels so much better it should kind of accordion in and out like this i'm so happy with this i literally have not even tried before filming this so I'm, that makes me so so happy now i'll be able to stuff all my stuff in and it's crazy because like the inside and the listing said this the inside is in such good condition it really is just i don't know what the heck happened with the handle but somebody really abused the handle but like look at that it's almost what is this like a purpley maroony i thought it was ox blood at first no it's a little ox bloody but a little bit more purpley than a normal ox blood the like look at the hardware it's so so beautiful and it's such a subtle clasp. My doctor bag from the row is like a serious clasp, which I'll definitely do. Maybe I'll do a video if you guys want of my eyelet bag, my doctor bag, and this bag, maybe another bag, which I'm gonna show you in a second, which I'm so happy. I feel like is like the OG even to this. Comparing all four of those styles, that would be really fun. But long story short, I'm kind of obsessed. Went ahead and stuffed the dust bags in this bag again, just so that, you know, like she needs some, she needs some time <laughs> to be reshaped. But also look at how nice, like the inside clasp is such a handy, 
handy, handy, handy tool. I think I even have the original receipt in here, which is really nice from the previous owner. It's just, I don't know. This is like kind of stunning. I was so nervous because the lifting photo looked really rough, but I don't know. I think like, I don't, I, it, she still needs to hang on a doorknob for a little while. She can't quite go into my bag, <laughs> you know, display yet. But I think, I think this is amazing because you guys have no idea how much I actually ended up paying. Like it's kind of insane. I'm almost like, I'm usually very, very forthcoming with all the prices that I pay because I love to preach the pre-loved slash vintage market. This one, I'm like, I kind of can't believe how much of a steal I got it for. This had gone down to like right about a thousand dollars and then for like the Christmas sales and everything it had gone down. I have to remember what price it actually was at, but it was I think literally like maybe under a thousand just by a few dollars because it's gonna need some work and I eventually will definitely have to pay to get her service from a leather spa. I offered the lowest I could offer in Vesta. You can offer 30% lower than the price that it's at at that current moment. And to my surprise, you guys, I offered $700 and they accepted. And I was like, okay, well, now I'm getting this bag. Like, how could you say no to that? I got this for $700. It's really, really, I know, I know, I know. I'm. This is the only price I'm like actually embarrassed to say because these bad boys go for 2,500, like at the least in these colors. I don't know, I think hopefully the price, I was like willing to pay 1,900 for a brown one and the color that I wanted. And then like I always say, I sound so stupid, but the bags kind of have a way of choosing you. And now with the bag that I'm gonna show you in a second, I have like the perfect duo and I'm so glad that I didn't get the brown. But as you guys just saw this, was my like unexpected pre-Christmas present to myself. This is a vintage thank you to my amazing friend for telling me from the 30s. It was made either anywhere between like the 30s, maybe even up to the 50s, but this gal is, is a, she's an old, old gal. This is a Sterling USA lizard purse. And like, can we talk about how cool this is now? First of all, like, thank God I got the green because I have this bad boy. I'm like, all my stuff is in here right now. I've been using this so much. Thank God I got the green in this so that I can have the brown in this. And they're not exactly the same, but like, you see where Miss Philo got her inspiration, right? Like the clasps are different, yes. And there are a lot of vintage bags that are like exactly like the Celine one, but this one is kind of such a cool, you know, like, true literal vintage version and it's so cool to have both i like this such a nerd i have them both hanging on on my little doorknobs because this one also needed as you can see some work on the handle i don't know why people store their bags with handles smushed like that is insane i see it more often than i feel like i should please please like just leave your handles alone even if you're trying to sell a bag it's crazy but thank god with pieces that are such good quality they can be reworked it's not hopeless. How fun is this? I just had to show you like vintage. This is the, oh, this is the grandma and this is the mom. Anyways, you guys, I could not wait to hear your thoughts. This is like probably, I gave you way too much information that I probably didn't need to give you. I can do like a more normal overview of this bag as soon as I start wearing it. Maybe a first impressions because there are a lot out there. There are more than you'd expect. I also feel like more people have been selling theirs who were old collectors of Celine. Now that Phoebe Philo has her own line, you know, they see that there's an opportunity. So they're out there. Can't wait to hear if any of you guys pick one up. I'm gonna, I'm just like, I'm so honored and I'm so excited to have shared this with you guys. As always, happy new year, first of all. So, so, so crazy. So we're now in 2024. I'm honored to be here with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.